Mark Reviews Places. Today I am at Camp Jeremiah Johnson. probably heard of Camp Jeremiah Johnson if you have a Cub Scout. Uh, so my son is eight years old, about to turn nine. He's in Cub Scouts. This is Camp Jeremiah Johnson. So, little uh, food stand here, convenience store. On this side of first aid tent. So, for any parents who are worried about first aid needs and concerns, there you go. Registration's here, you eat lunch over here. So kind of as you walk in, it has kind of that western motif feel um, but the the outline of the day kind of goes like this you go over to this area after you register you go over to this area over here and they do kind of an opening ceremony opening um, activity they do some cheers and chants they um, raise the flag sing the star spangled banner etc um, and then you break into groups and then you follow your leader around they get these blue or yellow banners there's one right here and uh, you move from activity to activity so um, really on kind of two sides of this stream over here and I'm gonna show you as I go through here lots of good activities for the kids basic stuff like knot tying and you know learning about conservation things like that but certainly the most fun activities one is crossing this bridge because normally the kids are stomping across here and yelling. Um, but on this side of the camp, right behind me over here, there is an archery range over here. And then on this side, it's a BB gun shooting gallery. So a um, couple of things to be aware of, I guess. When you come to Camp Jeremiah Johnson, you absolutely have to um, sign a waiver form, you have to get medical stuff worked out ahead of time, uh, make sure you're up to date on your immunizations, get your doctor to sign off on it, um, because there is some inherent risk in some of these cool activities that they have, including the BB gun shooting gallery, for example. Um, everything's really geared toward the kids, um, so it's a great place to come for a Cub Scout age group or Cub Scout activity. Um, the adults or the, the leaders who are bringing the kids, your job is really just to make sure that all the kids are where they're supposed to be um, participating in the activities, but everyone else runs everything. There's a great staff here on hand, um, staffed primarily by what seems to be junior high or high school aged kids. Um, each of them is really well versed in the specific activity that they're doing, and at least during the course of our visit today, um, they, they all stayed in their area and it was the scouts that rotated, which just makes sense. So I'm sure that repeating the same spiel over and over a few times every day for several weeks during the summer, they're going to get really good at this and they probably rotate and stuff. Um, you should be aware that uh, some of the activities have kind of a limited participation number, like the shooting gallery over here. So while you're doing that, your group may have to split into another group and do some hand cart pulling, like these kids that are coming down the hill right now toward me. 
So if you have the opportunity and you are in the area at all, um, we came down from Northern Utah County, um, but there are a lot of kids here from Orem and kind of all over the state. If you, if you or your group um, are looking for a good summer activity, Camp Jeremiah Johnson, I will leave a link in the description below to where you can find out more about this camp, uh, where you can sign up and register and attend. Um, they do provide a lunch at a cost, so you can bring your own lunch, and that's what most people did. But if you so choose, they have those Smucker's Uncrustables um, peanut butter and jelly sandwiches, or they have a hot dog lunch. Um, lots of different activities. It's, it's really pretty fun, really well structured, and the kids are having a great time. So whether it's learning how to fold a flag correctly, or learning how to use a compass, or learning how to shoot stuff, because America, uh, I think your kids will have a great time. I recommend it. I was here a few years ago for a Klondike Derby, also held here at Camp Jeremiah Johnson. Um, in that case, it was February, it was freezing cold, and we were kind of miserable. I definitely recommend this version of an experience at Camp Jeremiah Johnson. So if you have the ability to get out here, I highly recommend it. Um, very picturesque, beautiful location and really convenient. So if you're on I-15, just get off on that 4th South Springville exit and really just head east until you hit the mountains, you'll find this camp. Last thing of note, it was pretty cold this morning when we first got here because you are right in kind of this narrow valley and we were in the shadow of the sun until about nine o'clock. So for that first hour or so that we were here, um, pretty chilly. You'll want to bring a sweatshirt or you know light jacket or something, which you will then definitely shed later because now it's pretty hot. And a lot of these activities, um, they have little pavilions and things set up so that you don't just roast alive. Okay, I think that's going to do it for this Mark Reviews Places. If you are looking for a place to bring your Cub Scouts and you want them to have a good experience, a good time, learn some basic skills for life and or survival and or you know patriotism as these kids over here are learning how to fold a flag, check them out. Link in the description below. Okay, if you want more reviews like this, please subscribe to this channel by clicking over here. And on this side, check out some of the other reviews that I've done. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for your support.